check one, two. Yo, these mics are Chris. Sound really tight, don't they? They sound really tight. Damn, well, it is my absolute pleasure to introduce someone to the show who's been at the forefront, the cutting edge of UK underground music for over 30 years now. Cool, it's that long, is it? Damn. Who's counting? Isn't it exactly who's counting? Someone who's pioneered styles of music, styles of mixing, who's been there, who's given this scene heart and soul, enthusiasm. I don't know how he does it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the one and only, the too hot to handle, the DJ Randall. What's happening, dear? Welcome what's to happening? the show, brother. Well, thank you for having us, my friend. Do you know what's nice to get you in here? It's been a minute, isn't it? It's been a minute. It's it been has a minute. been a minute, man. Yeah, big up Swoo, man. Looks nice in here. The new Looks spot? Nice. Yeah. Very so, nice. Do you remember nice. when we um, did the last spot? Yeah, in... that was um, the old... When was that? That was um, 2017. Was in it? That's a long wow. time, you know. Yeah, yeah. And we came in and we just rolled out two hours. Yeah, two of, hours like, of house, house and stuff. So yeah, These before vibes. we take it back. Yeah, man. Sometimes you got to do a full loop. You got to take it back to go forward, my friend. Exactly, sir. Always. Exactly, sir. Damn, that, I don't even really know where to start, man. Do you know what I mean? It's just good to have you in. Good to have you. We're just going back to back for a minute. Yeah. Just drawing out a couple of beats, a couple of vibes, you know, as we yeah, do. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. So. For those that don't know, for the for the for the people out there that have been living in caves, <laughs> <laughs> tell us a little bit about you know how you started, where you started, well, origins. Origins, basically lived in East London. Listened to Acid House in the the early eighties. Mm-hmm. Got introduced to it when I was in the carnival. About Which carnival? Eighty six, not in Hill Carnival. About eighty six. Wow. Was hanging around with people like Pogo and Cutmaster Swift listening to hip hop and whatnot. So the friend of ours t- told us about half of our manners around the corner, listen to this crazy stuff with break beats. <laughs> so we all took a venture around the corner and then next minute I just had a eureka moment. Wow. Listening to these acid house sounds with break beats. And wow. I think I was sold straight away. And from that day, I just started buying acid house and- Crazy. Can you remember the tune? Actually, or even any of the tunes oh, from it? Cool, cool, you're talking, oh. New Groove, it was a lot of New Groove stuff, I think. Right. But this think is way was, before yeah. Shazam, so yeah, this you just had to go up and look at the record New deck. Groove Records, you're talking yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Frankie Bones, right. a lot of guys like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I think Nitro Deluxe was just bussing. Right, right, because that was a, kiss, that's kind French of a big kiss. hit in England yeah, at the yeah. time, wasn't it? Nitro Deluxe, I think they went to number one, you know? Uh, I think it did go to number one. That was the times when Paul yeah. Hardcastle was doing yeah. it in the night. He was doing his thing. <laughs> <laughs> Shout but out to yeah. Paul Castle, man. So basically yeah. there from the origins, heard it, it at Carnival. Yeah? Heard it at and Carnival then... and then started to collect music. Got a little couple of friends of ours was on some pirate radio station called Centre Force. Oh yeah, Centre Force. Yeah, so I started I started to do mixtapes, like Acid House tunes with little reggae, reggae samples in yeah, there yeah, first. Yeah. Bedroom you know style, I mean? yeah, bedroom, yeah. Bedroom DJ, like yeah. everybody was. And then yeah, yeah. someone took a tape and played it to someone. The next minute, I was I was I was asked to play on a radio station wow. by this guy Andy Swaller. Yeah, yeah. And I was playing Andy in a Swaller. little warehouse wow. in Stratford one Thursday night. Yeah, yeah. And then he just asked us to play at ten o'clock. So I used to do the ten o'clock on a Saturday, right. give out the meeting points. Yeah. To all the all the acid ass raves that was going on at the time. That's right. You said to me you used to um, that people that call in because this was way before internet. There was yeah, like hotline yeah, numbers. Way before. Isn't it? This is way before. You like, called the hotline number. To yeah, find it was out a hotline number, was. and like I said. There used to be loads of tapes yeah, yeah, on yeah. the floor that we had to play, but I always used to play them like every hour. <laughs> but like, because yeah. obviously there was too much, too much information, yeah. and I wanted just to play music at the age of eighteen. Right, and it right. really wanted to be talking. I just wanted to play tunes. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. so, like, yeah. So basically, I used to give out, like I said, prime time on a Saturday, ten o'clock. Everybody's on road, mm. looking for the rave, right. and I was like. You were the, well, you, I was, you were I was the, the man giving out you the, the information. Plug. Yeah, I was the man giving out the information what? for meeting points. Do you know what? Lesson lot, out there lot, for lot all, all the people wanting to get into the scene, yeah? You yeah. Know, you've got to start at humble beginnings. You've got to start somewhere, man. You know, sometimes yeah. I, I got my first gig like carrying speakers into a, a party. Really? Just so I could get in there. Yeah, yeah. it's like, you know, got you had start, to get in the yeah. party somehow. I was like a little bit young. So the guy said, yeah, I'll give you 30 quid. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a lovely speaker good, That was good in. money back then. That was great money. That was great money back yeah, then, my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But humble beginnings, man. We've all got to start somewhere to get a foot in the door. And it just progressed, you know what I mean? I just enjoyed playing on the radio. I was doing doing 
doing cover shows. Sometimes it'll be like six, six, seven o'clock in the morning. I'll be playing on there, Life. falling asleep. Yeah, yeah, My yeah. sister would ring me up <laughs> and tell me the tunes run out. <laughs> no word of straight up and down. <laughs> straight up and down. They call that the graveyard yeah, shift. Yeah, the graveyard yeah. shift. So she do loads of that. And then obviously when yeah. Central Falls uh, disbanded, there was a radio station, Rave FM, Shat, Nara and Kenny. Right. Right. So what, what, year, put, what year that, is that this? That was for like, uh, well, you're talking like, first it was 88 to about 89 mm. was Centre Force. Yeah. And then in the 90s, Summer it love. was, um, yeah, the 90s, it was like Rave FM. Got yeah. And I met like Lenny D'Ice. Okay. Mike the Underground, Cool and Flex. Right. For those that don't those know, guys. Lenny D'Ice, he produced the we are iconic yeah. e, We Are E tune. Yeah. So we, I met them quite, guys yeah, on that quite. radio station mainly. So then we then obviously. As the years progress, we 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 set up a radio, we set up a record shop, the Underground Records in Forest Gate, right. and then it, we just continued from there, man. Like just making yeah. music, and yeah. he was just passionate about playing music. Because when well, I bought that the record, the We Are E, produced yeah. by Lenny D'Ice, yeah. quite possibly the first ever Jungle Tune. Yeah, I, I can remember the, the version that I got as the Underground Records. Yeah, it was, so it was, it was, it was, it was a mad, it was a mad time. Your man, it was a mad time because, um, like, obviously Lenny made the tune. And at the time, he had gone inside, so he wow. couldn't really promote it as much as he wanted to. Wow. But it was crazy because obviously we was giving it out at this rave called Living Dream. And then I think I went to a rocket club the week later and Groove Rider was playing it. And actually to hear it on a bigger set than actually just in our record shop. You, we, could, we could hear the dynamics and the sonics of it all. Because like, um, he actually produced it in the basement of the record shop. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. No, it was upstairs, upstairs. Oh, it was upstairs, shop, right, so, yeah, right, so. right. Well, was, you know what I mean? So, like, yeah, it was just That's to hear crazy. the sonics. Just to hear the sonics of it yeah, all yeah. in a club yeah, was just yeah, like, yeah, 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 it was like yeah. crazy. Because it was groundbreaking. I can yeah, remember it hearing it for the first time at this free party in Oxford. It was a big dusty yeah. barn. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. in the morning. Everyone had been raving all night. Yeah. Someone dropped this tune and it was like... It just set everything differently, and just the way the tune, the bass line, the reggae bass, the yeah. amen break beat, it was, we had nothing like it yeah. before. Something different was happening. Yeah, it was definitely, it was the it was definitely the game changer. Yeah. You know what I mean? And at the time, like I said, Lenny was inside when he, when this happened. You know what I mean? So he didn't get the full respect at the time of yeah. doing PAs and whatnot and promoting this tune. And the tune but like, did yeah, so much damage. It, it, it did done damage anyway, you know what I mean? And it's still being played yeah. to this very day. So then, you know what, what was mean? the next the next sort of well, involvement? Next involvement, well, next involvement was obviously we was playing at Rocket Club for Chris Paul, Orange, right. and that's when I, I properly met like Fabs and Groove and right. Hype and all these guys. Well, Hype yeah. used to come down to the record yeah. shop, but this is what introduced me to the, the rave scene and right. DJing out at, at, at events. And you also lo- so got heavily affiliated with Reinforced Records. Yes, yeah. yeah. I got affiliated with Digo and Mark and Ian. Right. And then slowly, so obviously at the back end, Goldie came along yeah. and started doing artwork for them and then wanted to get in the studio. And then obviously yeah. you could see his talent, his mm-hmm. raw talent and everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because I just want to just, um, I remember way before I met you, this is like 91 times. Yeah. These guys called Chris and Splotty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out Chris and Splotty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Big up, yeah. But they used to go London. They were yeah. like, this was kind of like the tail end of like 92, 93. Yeah. And they started going London to, because all the free parties had stopped. So they just started, yeah. they were hardcore. They just to go up to Rocket Club. And yeah. To Rocket hear you Club every play. Saturday. It yeah. was every Saturday for a, for a good three, four years. Right. And then obviously now and again, Chris used to get the odd Hippodrome. Right. And we used to do Hippodrome and the bank holidays yeah. and the, Od- the Od- Odistoria. But they'd bring these tapes back. Yeah. I remember hearing the tape and it was you and GQ. Funny enough, right? I didn't even have tapes from <laughs> Ro- Orange and Rocket. People used really? to tell me they've got tapes. I didn't even know I they were recording. Know. That's, how how slippery that, that's how slippery they were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even know they was recording. <laughs> Little tape deck hidden yeah. under the... <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But that, yeah. that, that is like they captured history. Yeah, they, like, yeah, it was, it was but, moments, man. It was proper but moments. We, we was in Bristol, you know, and we yeah. kind of like, you know, we were in this little town, little bubble, yeah. you know, 150, 200 miles away from the big town. So these tapes would come down. I remember hearing it was you and GQ. Yeah. And you, you were just playing all this music, all this reinforced music. Yeah, that was know. when that was when I left Rocket Club and we went to AWOL. Yeah. And that was um, Isn't and Paradise Club. Was Paradise when I first, Club. First met, first GQ and... Sorry, G- yeah. Oh, obviously I knew Gachet, but the first time I properly got introduced to Mickey Finn. That must have been with the tapes. Kenny from. Ken. And that's when the, the uh, tapes, they started recording after okay. a while. They started realising, yeah, yeah this, this is a vibe down here. And they started recording the sets. And yeah. like I said, you know what tape packs are like back mm. in the day? 
Currency. They, used to, they used to go around like wildfire because yeah. obviously there was nothing, nothing nowhere else. else could listen to to, to hear to all hear this it. fresh music. And yeah. obviously, Digo and them, man, Mark, they used to give me so much music to play Shh. on dub plates. They used to have so many acetates. And that was the thing about it. Yeah. The music was just completely fresh. It was completely fresh. fresh so Different like arrangements. Every, every, like we'd be doing two hour sets yeah. in this place. So we used to cut a lot of dubs like yeah. me. Tom and Jerry as well. Kenny, Kenny, Ken, Darren, Jay. Right. You know what I mean? Mickey, all boys. yeah, all the yeah, A-Wall boys, the you know what I mean? Boys, so they used to, we used to cut a lot of dubs, right. you know what I mean? And like two hour sets, right. you know what I mean? And I guarantee you is like most of us had all different different sets. We all, we, we had a lot of same in the music, but yeah. we all had our different styles, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. you had to bring something to the table yeah, back Yeah, then, and like I said, I have to take props off to GQ because he used to MC all night. Right. You know what I mean? A good all 10 night. hours, 10 hours, yeah. 10 hours, only like you know, about four or five years in. Uh, I reckon I was about two, three years in that he used to let people like Fearless get on the mic and really? Fats get on the mic just for a break, innit? Yeah, just yeah, for a break because yeah. he's been yeah. on the mic all night. Wow. You know what I mean? And that's how these guys G-Shu, came through. man. You know that is I mean? the, the definition of a veteran, yeah. man. Yeah, it is, man. Yeah, but those yeah. tapes, they were like, you know, a big influence for us back here. You know, the whole Reinforced catalogue, I think, was, you know, a big influence, you know, pre full yeah. cycle, pre represent. Yeah, we've got to take our hats I, I off to those guys. I used to call them the men, the, white, the men in the white coats. Right. You know what I mean? Like in their little studio in Dollis Hill. Yeah. You know what I mean? Stuff I used to hear them creating, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, and like, Tom and Jerry Records and Jerry. was, was yeah. like the more jungle, yeah. was ragger the, element yeah. of it. And it was yeah. just. It was, it, was, it, was, it, was a, it was a it was a it was a mad time and it was a great time. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think it was the best time for jungle at the time, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Because everybody was just doing it, like IB for records. Right, right, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It was so IB fresh. For, was and no so one really fresh. knew what they were doing. I think that was something. Yeah, it was just experimenting. Me. People yeah. were just experimenting. Yeah. Throwing things at, uh, on the screen and seeing if it sticks. Yeah. That's the flavour, you know what I mean? But yeah, it used to be a great time, man. It was great. Yeah, it was man. great. Like, yeah, the vibes man. was crazy. So that you was like I mean? 93, 94, yeah, maybe. Yeah, 93, 94, yeah. Because I was changing. looking at some timelines earlier and um, yeah. I realised that it was like 93 was when Dark Stranger came out. Yeah, yeah. Um, on Boogie Times Records. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Um, Long Dark Tunnel as well was pretty much the same year. Yeah, it was about so that was time. like a big change in year, and then yeah, like jungle was here now. It was, yeah, it was, it and was, it ain't going nowhere. It was, it was a great, it was a great time for all of us. You know what I mean? Mm. We'd been to, I, I was was going to places that I'd never been before. Right. You know what I mean? Playing to people that I thought I would never play to. Wow. You know what I mean? So yeah, it was it was a great time. You know right. what I mean? Actually, it was very very humbling and very you know was privileged. Right. That actually leads to me one thing. to a question that. Um, one of the listeners sent in. And Already, like, yeah? What'd yeah, you that yeah. one they, um, they said, Randall, you're a man that's travelled the world yeah. in many places. Like, yeah. Have you ever been anywhere where it's too hot for sandals? Too hot for sandals. Be honest. Be honest. Is it too hot for sandals? Too hot for sandals. You know what? Nah. Nah, no, no. It hasn't been sandals, but nah. Well, nah, there's nowhere where it's too hot for sandals. Not, not where I've been. <laughs> No, no. And you've been a few places. Well, mate. I've been a few places, you know, <laughs> man. But I, I, I've had some memorable moments, though, man. Definitely, I definitely, definitely there's been so many always, moments. Yeah, over the years, all of all of us, as you know, Dan, we've been places that sometimes when you look at the um, the flight ticket and you see the price of it all, mm. and you think if you was working a normal nine to five job, mm. you would be never, you would never be on this plane. Nah. You've you got to remember I mean? that when yeah, you're yeah, DJ, that's you what know? I mean. You've really got to count you know, your blessings. I always when remember you get to travel me, like me, Dot Scott, Ed Rush. We was on a train from Japan going to Osaka. And like our friend, I forgot what his name was, man. He used to drink so much sake, he used to get drunk all the time. I can't remember. It's Kamba. Kamba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kamba, Kamba and Fumi. Kamba and Fumi, man. Got a big oh, demo. Legends, man. Right? He just, he just naturally just said, oh, yeah, there's the Mount Fuji. You know, the seventh wonder of the world. <laughs> and I'm just gobsmacked as we're going 210 miles an hour. Yeah. And then I look at my drink. Right. And, my on the, and it ain't even moving. It's right. just so still. It's like. Damn. You know, we're going through towns and it's, it's like, and I think, boy, I would never be on this plane if it, you never I would never be on this train if in, it wasn't for this music, right? Yeah. If you're I back wouldn't. in the underground record shop, yeah. you never would have thought you'd be no, outside thought, Mount yeah. Fuji Rock Festival. Yeah, exactly. Crazy. Crazy, man. So, yeah, we are blessed yeah, yeah, to be able to do this yeah. thing, what we do. Definitely, you know definitely. I mean? And it's like, you know, we could go into so many pockets, like you and me have had so many conversations about, you know, different music and eras. music tunes how they came about you know yeah. the, the just the time the place the story you know what i mean we we, we could go on for so long yeah, we man. could we like, could there's, there's great I, moments and obviously as you see have you as like, you know you've had some great moments and like yeah, it says yeah like you know like the first time someone gives you a tune 
and it's just like you know like i remember the first times like coming home from a rave six o'clock in the morning and i've got goldie ringing us up saying you've got to come to the studio i've done this thing but already it already rung up groove rider and a few others wow. but no one was coming but I, I turned up at camden yeah right to this geezer out of his nut well everyone was out of their nuts just slaughtered and then they just put this tune on and before that obviously he told me the whole story of the breaks and he told me the whole story before he put the tune on mm. like it's four breaks into one blah 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 and i'm trying to process this all yeah, yeah. like what the fuck's he talking about sorry about the french but what's he talking about so like next minute now put this tune on and like blown away totally blown away and that was terminator Jeez. you know what i mean and just to hear it the sonics of it all in in this venue yeah. so in you this heard place. that the day it was yeah, made. The, yeah the day it was made i heard wow. this thing and then obviously he gave it to us for anyone out there that hasn't heard Ruffage Crew Terminator. Yeah, well, when cheering this tune the first time, you know what I mean? And, and that was just like, and that, and, that, and that comes with a lot of other tunes. Mm. You know what I mean? Like being in, in, in Andy C's studio with Ant Miles, yeah. another guy called Scientist. Yeah, you made the track with them as well, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, Sound Control. Legendary. You know what I mean? And yeah. like, listen, listen, you know what I mean? Oh, I got a shout Shim on as well. Yeah, shout Proper scientist, you know what I mean? Seeing these guys in their early age, yeah. um, be, becoming artists and playing me music and you giving me music way ahead of everybody right. you know what i mean do you know what randall because you, like, you've really always humbling. been that guy actually do you know what i mean like um you know the guy that people can give their mi music to no matter who you are do you know what i mean yeah. and the chances are you're gonna listen to it yeah and if it's good you'll play it because i'm just like everybody else yeah. man i just love music you know yeah. what i mean and like you know what i mean i know i know i know what it is like what it is like out there man you gotta push your shit music you know what i mean Real, and there's real. people out there that I know that deserve it. You know what yeah, I mean? Because yeah. they're really talented, man. But they don't get that spotlight that they yeah. need. So we've got a platform. We've got a platform. We've got a platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you've given that to music, so many man. producers and, and yeah. DJs and artists over the years. Yeah, it's just yeah, yeah. Too yeah, many to man. mention, man. But yeah, it's a natural gift of yours, and I think it's just like you know something that you're all just spurred on to do: share music. Yeah, with exactly. The, with the exactly. We just spare music, share music to the masses, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? Dope, yeah. dope, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. man. I know, I know. So you have got a label, man. You got a yeah, Mac Two Recordings. Yeah, man. You know what I mean, go shout, 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 out my man, Cool and Flex. Yep. Man, JB, we just we're just gonna start building it up again. Yeah. And start building, you know what I mean? Obviously, and with the the crew, watch the ride, you know the crew. Yeah, yeah. I've you know heard of I mean? them, man. Yeah, and I heard of them. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Couple of got... jokers. Yeah. <laughs> couple of jokers. They got a couple of jokes. Yeah. Couple, they got a couple of tunes going on. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I'm just, just, just evolving. Just keep on evolving. Yeah, man. definitely, man. Just keep definitely. on evolving and just, definitely, you know, man. we just in, in, got to enjoy it. You know what I mean? Because yeah, we, like man. I said before, we are privileged. Yeah. And blessed to do what we do. Definitely. You know definitely. what I mean? So yeah, man. Got to realize just, that, man. Yeah. Damn, man. I mean. We could go on forever, man. Like, I don't know. Do you, do you want to tell people we had a little little holiday, innit, man? Who had a little holiday? You had a little holiday. You had a little sit down, innit? Oh, yeah, had a little sit down. You know, what no I one's mean? really, no one's really, the world hasn't really heard this from the man. Do you no. know what I mean? Well, you know, you know, I don't sometimes, know. I think sometimes just... in life, you don't realize how uh, uh, things are, you know what I mean? And so, like, right. basically, you know, can you just tell the people what happened then? I, well, I just, I just found out I had an abnormal heart. So it was like, they call it. Cla Claudio Ampathy. So I didn't even know I had it. Next minute, I've just had to have a triple heart bypass. And they just, six million dollar man me, mate. And just, <laughs> man, just opened my heart up and just it is some serious fixed it business, up for life, man, you know? Because, yeah, so yeah, I'm been... just blessed to be here, my friend, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's been and a I mad minute, pretty, I was pretty lucky, you know what I mean? Definitely, So I've got a few people that didn't make it over definitely, the time that man. I went into the hospital about September. Yeah. And I was out by November. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, it's been, just, been a heavy been couple of graph, months, man. Like, you know what I mean? It's even more like, you know, just a celebration to Abby. Yeah, I got to shout out my family you know? that, that was there for us, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get me. All the people that sent in shouts and was yeah. keeping in touch with yeah, us. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? I don't think many I don't people... forget them, man. I won't forget you, A lot of people, people didn't, like, you know, know what was going on because yeah. obviously it was COVID times as well. Yeah, and exactly. you know what I mean? And it's like... But yeah, know, man, it came but, out but, the other end and like, you know, just just, just getting healthier, just got to hold it down, but it's all good. Mate. It's all good, man. So much Back blessings, here, man. boy. Yeah, so man. much yes. blessings, man. You know, it's... You know what I mean? Life is a gift, man. Yeah, you've got to treat it like that, man. You know, and it's you know like, mean? yeah, 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 man. Well, that's kind of serious, man, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but well, it's all it, good, man. It needed to be done, do you know yeah, what I mean? Because I feel like the world deserves to know, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, just quite what's been going on just from, yeah. from the horse's mouth yeah man it's all good yeah man thanks for um you know just 
telling sharing telling the story. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? That's Do all. You know good, what? Man. We've got more good times to live in it, man. Yeah, we've got you exactly. know, and more music to play. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? So is, yeah, is, is, that, is, that, is that um is that a cue? <laughs> yeah. Is that a cue? So who's gonna set it up? Should I set it up? Do you want to set it up? Yeah, I'll set it up. You keep yeah, talking. Yeah, man. Cool. Well, you know what? We're celebrating tonight, people. DJ Randall, back to business. Swoo. <laughs> 